everyone, it's the History Nerd, back with some more Civ V France action. So, in the last episode, we were victorious over the warmongering Americans, we liberated the Huns, and now we're, uh, we are back to building up France to be the nation that it can be. Nay, that it should be. Which means, National College, because that's a good idea. We don't need... Any more units? We do have a fairly decent military for us for what we've uh, what we need, to be honest. And how's about a market? There we go. Okay. Education is on the research thing tree list. It's on the research list. That makes more sense. And yeah. We'll just... I guess we've got a few barbarians to take care of over in this region, so we will send a pikeman and a swordsman that way. Excellent. And... Just basically get our units back to our own land. That'll be a good idea. Yeah, we'll get you there. We'll get started on repairing the barbarian damage, because that's just rude of them to do that. And actually, we should look to see what it'll take to spread Frenchianity. Missionary 300, we're kind of there. Well, not kind of there, we're still about a third of the way out, so... It'll be a while before we can spread some Frenchianity. That's alright. I am A-OK -okay with that. And, uh, as I do believe Blowfly brought up in the comments, uh, it's good to have ranged units when you're fighting a defensive war. Absolutely. I don't see myself building too much more in the way of infantry, um, but certainly some crossbowmen and, uh, trebuchets slash, well, I guess, catapults. the following trade of interest to you. Slash trebuchets. No, it isn't. Why would we be friends with you? Declaring war on us twice. Right. Well, still. Not gonna happen, Washington. Not gonna happen. And we'll move you back a bit. So yeah, that's the plan. Ranged. Another city somewhere here. I like this spot here. Um, there's some good resources. Down here we got some iron and some more cotton. However, that's fairly close to both India and Venice. So I'm not sure if I'd be able to squeeze the city in there or not. I might be able to. We'll, we'll find out. Soon enough. Alright. Yeah, we can just leave you there. And we can leave. Ooh, we'll upgrade you to a trebuchet, and we will leave you there. Alright. And there be the enemy. So we'll just hack you to pieces. And do that, and we'll wait to repair the cows. But they shall be repaired soon. And there. Alright. Now, the next question, what is happening with Crusader Kings 2? Um, unfortunately, the Austria campaign is not salvageable. Sad face. Um, yeah, I didn't keep continuing saves, I just kept saving over the same one, so restarting at any point that would be salvageable is just, it's not an option. So that's a bit of a letdown, but it does open up the possibilities of doing a 
uh, Old Gods playthrough once that's released. Because I think that's coming out relatively quickly. So, that'll give us another 200 years worth of history, I think. And, yeah, it should just be an interesting, an interesting little playthrough. And a good basis for... Uh, starting up a grand campaign. So that's the plan with Crusader Kings 2. So I'm still going to be doing a grand campaign. And and um, everything I'd planned to do with Austria is just not going to be Austria, unfortunately. Uh, we will put you in, I think, Washington. There we go. Go offensive with my first spy. That's a good idea. Alright, we got a circus. How's about... Hmm. We don't really need the happiness, so how's about the production, which would be better? We'll go with watermill. The workshop's probably better, and I'll wind up building a workshop there as well, but... For now, we'll stick with that. Alright. Pikemen, get a move on. Swordsman, knew that you're a worker. Swordsman, follow suit. Worker! Now, I think if I slap a trade post onto the jungles, I'll also get research for them. I think. So that sounds like a really good idea. More research is better. Let's go that way. So this region, I think, is fairly clear, unless they're sitting on the rocks or something, but I doubt it. Uh, what else can we build? Yeah, Notre Dame, that sounds like a good idea. Do it up. We might need some more workers. Is the following All right, trick? we'll accept an embassy with you. That'll give my spy someplace to live. And no, we want... Ah, I don't have the tech for that. Concerning, but understandable. We'll go build a farm. Well, we do some researching. Yeah, I guess... I guess when you're walking through forest, you only move one. Is the No. These things I should remember. Washington is plotting against Genghis Khan. I should let him know that. What's up? Discuss. You? FYI. And actually, is this a thing yet? Defensive plan. pact. Chivalry. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, gunpowder is as always, pretty damn tempting, because, hey, it's gunpowder, and musketeers are good gunpowder units. However, the lack of being able to build trade posts is a little bit concerning. So we'll go ahead and research guilds, so we can get our uh, thingies, jungles, generating some moolah and some research, which is like a double whammy of awesome. And... Uh, that should be that should be pretty good. Is the following trade of interest to you? Hmm. Yes. You can pay me for my cotton. I am a-okay with that. Ah. So if you just spawned up there. Aha! We found the barbarians. And we will go with... Yeah, we got some fish to work there. That might not be a bad idea. Oh, we just got the one in range at the moment. But... Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go with the lighthouse. Leon deserves a lighthouse. And 
And yeah, we should we should get some more mines for Paris. That's a good idea. Alright, so we'll slaughter those guys and slaughter these guys. Haha! <laughs> Suck it, barbarians. What else? That's it? Good, next turn! So yeah, I'm not sure what uh, kingdom to use for Crusader Kings 2. That's the one thing that's kind of left me scratching my head. I'm not sure who to use. Uh, considering the time frame, uh, any Scandinavian nation would be pretty damn interesting. And, you know, at that point, they're not even a Christian kingdom, so you can get some crazy alternative history going. Which is really, you know, kind of why I play these games. So that's, that's a cool little potential. Eh, what do we want now? We probably want a workshop. I think that'll work. If I make Paris my culture city, Orleans sort of my production city, because it's right in the middle, and then Lyon as my sea city. Does Gandhi have anything to trade yet? You do. For nothing. Damn you, Gandhi. I guess it's my fault that I don't have anything. And damn it, like he catapulted ahead of us. America's fault for dragging me into a war, but look at that. That's concerning. I have a feeling Delhi's kind of going for the same victory conditions I'm going for. Judging by the look. Or Delhi, India. Judging by the look of Delhi. And, and good old Paris here isn't looking as impressive. It's bigger, there's more people. But Delhi looks like it's got nicer things. <laughs> they got the wall, they got some pyramids. You know, they got another pyramid thing there. I'm not sure. Oh, Terracotta Army. Like, yeah, that's, that's pretty snazzy. It's okay, though. We'll pull ahead. Excellent. All right. Next up on the list, uh, we might as well hit gunpowder and get into the industry or into the um, uh, Renaissance age. We'll buy ourselves a worker because we can certainly afford it, and uh, finish up making the map look pretty. All right. Well, no, we'll send you right there, actually. Look at that. That's a great spot to build a farm. Alright. Good, we've got faith to buy a missionary so we can spread Frenchianity. And I'm tempted to join India in a denouncement of America after their declaration of war there. In fact... Good day. And Stop we listening. will do that. Because come on, Washington, can't we all just get along? Alright. So I figure if I leave the pikemen there, they should be able to see most of the region and uh, prevent any more barbarians from coming from the peninsula. Alright, get that missionary up to Orleans. Spread that religion. Yeah, we'll move them back with the main army. And let's build ourselves a trade post there, friends. So they've converted. Head on up to Lyon. And now they've converted. <coughs> 
And then I think I'm going to go on a little conversion spree of... Well, if they make it. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright. We are going to go with... I'm thinking of university. Now, they're expensive, but... Yeah, plus two signs from jungle tiles worked in the city? Absolutely for Lyon. Uh, Orleans has some jungle, so we'll do the same there. And Paris gets it because it's Paris. It, it needs a university. Alright, so it looks like the Americans have taken Beshbalik. Yeah, Gandhi's got another wonder. That'll change in three turns. Unless I've jinxed it for myself. I don't have to get that stone on the go. Alright. Uh, what do we want to build there? Stable, is that worth it? I guess you've got the horses. Have you got any cows? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll go with a barracks, because if I'm going to be building units in that city, it'll be good to have them trained. Get this ready in case we have to uh, head on up. To assist our dear friends to the north, which we'll probably have to do. Wind up fighting another liberation war for them. Oh yeah, come on. Bring it. Architecture has recorded the great ideas of the human race. Not only every religious symbol, but every human thought has its page in that vast book. Glorious! Alright. So that should tie us with India for wonders, and I have a feeling there's possibly an unmet sieve that's ahead of us. Just, you know, that's fine. I'll, I'll survive somehow. Um, yep. Hopefully we'll get that built. Alright, so it looks like Mongolia is gone yet again. Hmm, stealing philosophy. That's an old tech, though. Like, that's really old. Not sure who needed to steal it, but whoever it was, let's just say they're not the brightest. Alright, so as tempting as it is to liberate Mongolia right away, I don't think I've got as much of an edge combat-wise as I would like to have. Yeah, we'll build an armory there as well. Ah! Gandhi! Bastard. Okay, National Treasury then. That'll help a little bit. There we go. Yep, come on. And we're very close to getting, well not very close, but once we get our last, or our next social policy, we will uh, slap it into collective rule so I can get a settler, which will be nice. We'll plop him somewhere. Okay, now first thing I should check, I don't have machinery, so those guys are not getting upgraded. We can get a musketeer out there, and none of the pikemen can become musketeers. That's a shame. Ooh, yes. Chemistry, tempting. Machinery, a bit more important.
there, C. We will send you there to build a farm. And we'll send you there to build a farm. Get some farmers. Alright. Okay, head up there. We'll slap down a trade post. Slap down another trade post there. You coming for me, America? Aha! Promotion! Thank you. Because we got chivalry! <sighs> okay, fine. I don't know why I'm continuing to subsidize Gandhi while he passes me in World Wonders, but... You know what? It's better than having... Uh, MG Castle. Yes, please. It's better than having a two-front war, I'll tell you that. We got some more spices over there. Excellent. Not sure when we did or where we did that. Way down here, maybe? No. Where did I clear a barbarian camp? Ah, maybe I got pushed into it. I don't know. Somehow or another, we got some money for killing barbarians, and I am a okay with that. So, what I would like to do is send that trireme over and see if we can discover some things about this little piece of land. got our university up there, so now let's go with... Uh, hmm. That's just a free castle in the city it's built in, so we will add another one. And protect Lyon. Because that's important. Okay. So, with Orleans pretty much done as far as troop training is concerned, I'm going to start training some musketmen. It's going to be a while until I can upgrade my pikemen to any sort of gunpowder unit. It'll just be nice to have a few more in my army. Considering we've already got Minutemen up over there, and... You know, they're still kind of outdated with their long swordsmen and knights. But yeah, it's just it's just a good idea. Yeah, you can see. They now literally outgun me, and that's not good. And I'm making enough money I can afford a few more units. And my people are happy. This is this is just a great game so far. The press is the best instrument for enlightening the mind of man and improving him as a rational, moral, and social being. All right. So Washington's done paying me for cotton, which is fine because I wasn't getting much for it anyway. And now we can follow it up with. I'm really tempted to get chemistry, so I'm going to. That'll give me the edge. That'll give me the edge I need. Oh yeah, they severely outgunned me. Damn you! I was about to call them pirates. I guess technically these guys would be pirates. Damn you, pirates! Getting in my way. Oh, we're not friends with Florence anymore? No, we need that culture! All 
says to you, pirate ship. Alright, time to go buy friends. We will pledge to protect you, and we will give you a gift of a thousand. There we go, look at that. We, we're still swimming in money. Scrooge McDuck up in here. No! I mean, at least it wasn't Gandhi who built it, but still. No! I needed that castle, damn it. Ah! Ah! This ship's gonna wind up dead from all the pirate hunting. Okay, well then, France, what do you want? You should probably get a barracks, because you should. Then we can get the Great Monument, or whatever it is. Not the Great Monument, but you know, the, the military monument thingy. Can we... Nah. Okay, fine. Heal instantly. Sink that pirate. And then hopefully... They won't spawn another ship there after two turns. Yes, alright. So now we got ourselves a settler. Where does the AI think the settler should go? Way up there? That's not gonna happen. That's ridiculous. Alright, so we've got a few spots. Here, looks like we get quite a lot of production from all the forests. We got a little hill there, we got some stone. Uh, eventually we get the cotton with the, you know, river tiles and happy. Uh, we can snag those bananas that Leon seems to not be growing towards. So that's a possibility. We could go a little bit further and plop her down here or here. And we get a little less production. We get some horses, though that might be fun. And, and a better chance at snagging those two pieces of iron. And I really wish I knew what was over there. Down here, it's looking pretty cramped. We could probably slap a city there between those two mountains, right right near the border with Mumbai, we get cotton, a heck of a lot more iron. Hmm. We might we might anger Gandhi a bit. He's kinda claimed this area and I don't necessarily want to go picking a fight with him. Even though I'd probably win. Well I so I'm guessing it's gonna be over here. Which is you know that's fine. We'll We'll see what this spot grants us. Alright. Finally sail out. We found more pirates, but that's okay. We can we can survive that. And head over there. It's looking pretty good. I mean, unless there's something amazing on this island. So, head down south to the desert. Pick you up. Really taking your time. Trying to find that. That's fine. We'll go there. Uh, let's see what else. We can slap a trade post. That, ooh, maybe get a plantation going there instead. So, heroic epic. Yeah, we just need to build... One more barracks in the all, which will get done eventually. Uh, probably a university. We don't have any jungle tiles, that's fine. We'll still get a nice little science boost from it. And one more. Yeah. Hold your horses. There's... What's that? Marble? I don't think we've got a source of marble. Uh, trade post. Uh, workshop in the other two cities as well. All right, we'll build another musketeer, and then we'll have at least gun parity with what we can see of the Americans. All 
Alright, so you're done that. Head over there and get a plantation going. You guys... Uh, let's see... We'll do that. Uh, nope, trade post. I really don't think it's worth colonizing those islands. I could be wrong, you know? You, you never know. But to me, it's just not looking worth it at the moment. Ah, that, that, is a good, that is a good spot for a city. That really is. Okay. Oh yeah, hopefully the pirates don't show up. But, you know, it's fine. Let's go ahead and sail away. I mean, the, I guess the, the, the thing with putting it that far away is how long the road's going to have to be compared... Well... About the same distance. <laughs> it really isn't, but money's not tight right now. So we're okay with that. Alright, keep moving you around up to the gems. And there you go. So that's that mapped. Excellent. That's right, Warsaw. Be in awe of me. And plop down... Troye, I'm assuming? My French isn't great, so I'm just guessing that's what that is. E, let's see... Uh, t -t 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 what would be the first thing we want to build here? I guess a shrine, although right away we're losing money. But hey, we got money to spend! Make it rain up in France, you! We will work together with Gandhi because he's a cool cat. Aha! It is open. I knew it. All right. Chill on the gems. And from Lyon, we will purchase a worker. There we go. After I spend all my money? We're still good, though. We'll just, we'll... You know. Does that give us 30 influence? That is a much better deal. Oh no, 25 influence. That's still a better deal. Yep. Alright. Yeah, we're still... still not there. We'll get a circus going in Paris, though, because that's free. That price is right. Link up Troye there. And... Send this little ship back there to do some repairing. I think that is a good spot to leave the video for now. With the glorious French Empire finally four holes... Well, we can finish off the castle, I guess, and get something new in Lyon. As I was saying, four cities strong now. Uh, a military that causes the Americans to shake in their boots. And a rather healthy relationship with India, surprisingly. So that's good. They've got an awful lot of resources, though. And kind of just let them have that area of the map. So, who knows? Maybe in the Industrial Age, they'll just come along and steamroll both myself and the Americans. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. 
it might anger me, but it wouldn't surprise me. So we've got a barracks on the go so we can get that final statue thingy built. And I do think that is a good spot to leave it. So, thumbs up if you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.